Well, hi again, everybody, and thanks for tuning into this of the last video in a series of five short videos where I've taken you step by step uh, through a refurbishment project. If you recall from video one, this property was a typical dated old end terrace property, two rooms on the ground floor, three bedrooms, and this room upstairs here was a bathroom. Um, what we've done is we've modernized it and we've refreshed it and got it back on the market. You can see here in this gold gable end, we've re-rendered this gable end and we've created uh, some external wall insulation. We've done what's called EWI, external wall insulation. We've insulated the rear wall. The uh, rear extension here is the same. Now, what I'm gonna do is turn the camera around and show you what we've actually done around the back here, which you hopefully you'll find that's quite nice. Um, originally, you might remember from video two or three, there was a lean-to roof and um, there was an old toilet in that back space. So I'm going to show you now uh, what we've done into, in that space there. So just taking you around the back, over the garden here. So in this space here, um, we had um, the old toilet, um, this uh, lean-to area, so you can see the difference in the rendering colour here, the differentiation here. So we've re-rendered that space um, to make it blend in with the rest. And we've taken away the lean-to toilet, we've blocked the toilet off, and we've just cleaned up that area. So you can come out of the back of the lounge now with double doors into this area onto the back garden. There's a clean window looking out onto the garden, which is a just, it was the original one, so nothing special about that. So if you look up ahead there on that white pipe, that's the new soil and vent pipe, which is collecting the waste from the bathroom. And we've dug a channel down this path and brought it into this manhole here. So you might have just noticed on the corner there's a manhole on the ground in the yard. This is always, if you ever have an extension built, quite often, let me just take you around there to see that. So there's a manhole there. If I take you around here, you can see there's a manhole here. Now quite often you will notice that if there's an extension built there will always be a man on either side because you have to have what's called a building over sewers agreement so if there was ever a problem with the drain underneath they can get at it from both sides so that's just a requirement from the drainage authority that is uh, that's something that's necessary so walking down towards the front of the house you can see that um, when I take you around the corner now, we've shot an area of uh, dry garden. So whereas originally we had a lawn at the front, you can see now that we've decided to put a dry garden. It's much, much easier if we do this. It just makes it clean and tidy for the maintenance period while we're selling actually, because we haven't got to come along and cut this lawn as well. I'm just going to take you forward a minute. So you can see from the front of the house, just give you a little idea of what it looks like. That's the original rendering. We've put coins up this corner here to blend in the front and the rear elevation. We've painted the front in, the sills, to make it all look a bit presentable. And I'll take you inside. So, um, those of you who saw video one would have seen that there was a corridor along here and uh, a staircase straight in front. So what we've done is we've taken all these internal walls out and we've opened it all up to make it a modern, um, open plan living room. So if I just take you across the lounge, there's the lounge from this viewpoint. If I take you into this corner, you can see how really we've just opened this room right up. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this. This is the second or third project we've done like this, where we put these gray carpets and white walls. So we've gone for this range now and we find it's very attractive. Low voltage lighting in the ceiling. There's no independent pendants. We've actually got four down lighters in the ceilings. That's really, really come out really well. And again, if you look at the earlier videos, um, this is what I envisaged happening. From the outside, you could see the patio doors. And now that's just given a nice aspect. Now, previously that was a window. We've just taken the bottom sill out, dropped it to the floor, and then put a nice patio door in. I think that's going to be a nice feature as well for us. So going into the kitchen, this was the original space, but um, of course we put a nice new grey kitchen in, some lovely nice clean tiling. And we've given this a nice aspect, again down lights rather than 
uh, an independent single lighting. And those of you who saw the earlier videos where I was somewhat concerned about the uh, uh, position of the oven and hob, that's worked out quite well now. So there's quite a lot of space there. Um, lovely um, spread for preparation area, space there for a washing machine. And what we've allowed then is behind the door in this space is for an American fridge freezer. Plenty of room there, usually around 900 wide, and we put some power at high level. So maybe even somebody could put a TV up in the corner as well. So let me take you through now to upstairs. So these are all brand new stairs, if you remember. We put these in. And those of you who saw the earlier videos would have seen that this was indeed the original bathroom suite. There was the bath in the corner here and a toilet and a basin. So now, of course, we've changed these glass windows to um, clear from frosted. So this bedroom's got a lovely aspect onto the rear garden. And what we didn't know before is that there was a nice park at the top. And from this aspect as well, we have got sea views of the Swansea Bay, which is a nice treat. We wasn't expecting that. So this bedroom's worked out really well. The um, original bedroom in the middle here, the rear middle bedroom, is always the same. We've done nothing to this other than decorate it and prepare it. And that one looks onto the garden as indeed it originally did. So this is where we've made some changes, if you recall. Um, we had a small box room here. And from video two and three, you would have seen me setting out these partitions here. So we've got a nice um, double bedroom here. And those of you who saw the video would have seen me laying a piece of timber in this location, which was staging out how big I wanted that bathroom to be. So we've ended up putting the bathroom here, as you can see. So we've got a nice modern basin, some plumbing, a nice close couple to the WC, uh, and a little bit of signature tiling. I tend to do this in most of the jobs and uh, fully tile this bathroom. So it looks nice and fresh. And inviting chrome towel rail. Now I take you into this corner. You can see that we use a P-shaped bath, a nice curved shower screen and um, with chrome rails and again we've got chrome down lighters and we've got a, an inset fan light. So that's a nice little feature that I like to put in. So I think this has worked out really nice. Um, it's really good. I, the decorator's got to come back and just paint those pipes for me. But this has worked out exactly as I wanted it to be. And if you remember in video two and three, I was talking about how I envisaged this all coming through. And this has worked out really, really nice. One thing that we've had to do is we put interlinked smoke detection up here. And that is because now this is open plan. So we need to give early warning of fire for the people up here into this space. If a fire kicks off down here at all, then of course that fire detector uh, will go off because it's been al alerted by this one here. So there you are guys. Um, I'm really pleased with the way this project has come about. Uh, we bought this house for just over £50,000 um, and it's now on the market for £134,950. We've had a refurb cost of just over £30,000, £31,750. Um, so there's a nice profit to be lined up here. As many of you know, if you want to work with me, get in touch with me at MikeWoodsThePropertyExpert.com or check me out on my Facebook page where I'd be happy to share any information with you with any project. So tune in for the next one. Look at the YouTube channels. This is number five of five. The others are from the beginning of the job are all there. So you can check that out as well. So thanks very much for joining me again. And I look forward to seeing you in the next series.